cardio today, huh? It's a warm up, dude. Five minutes walking isn't called cardio. Yeah, cardio. Doing this, front squat a bit. You guys will probably get two day workouts here. Heading to the expo tomorrow, but we're gonna catch a workout in the morning, vlog both. Welcome to the video, I'm Silent Mike, 3SB.co. Lid drops out. I'm not even wearing any. I, no. I sold the shirt off my back, it was so hot. To so 3SB.co, check out all the clothes. Hopefully your size is in stock, I can't guarantee it. If you go there and it's not there, you should be in Discord, link below. Then you'll never miss out on a drop. You the other day for the first time. Yeah. Typically speaking, when you lose weight, a good amount of weight, people always worry about their strength going away or their muscle going away. Truth is to like keep the amount of muscle you want, the amount of stimulus and hard work, hard work you need to keep muscle is a lot, lot less than it is to build muscle. And so obviously when you're deficit, you want to train hard. Because you're eating less calories, your overall energy is going to be down. So you just won't be able to go as hard or lift as much as you did when you're bulking, right? Or maintenance, duh. But beyond that, if you lose a, a significant amount of weight, depending on, on genetics and how you store fat, you can lose a lot of strength because the levers start to change. If you're a little bit thick in the tummy, a little bit thick in the hammies, and you start you bounce out of the squat pretty good. Now you got no tummy, now you got no hammies, you can't rebound as good, right? So it's just gonna feel less stable when the weight's up here and you're you're used to having more mass here to hold it, um, and now you don't. Same with the bench. You just have more girth everywhere, more girth here, so your range of motion changes, everything's touching when you're a little thicker, you're a little skinnier, it doesn't. With the deadlift, sometimes it's different. This all depends on how you're built, right? Often, not always, often lifting can uh, get better as you lose weight. Strength going down is just a part of the game. Once you start to find maintenance again or bulk, you'll feel good. I only stopped deadlifting what, three months ago. It hasn't been that crazy. And I was like probably 210 and now I'm 196. So it was another like 12 pounds. I didn't like drastically get into better position or nothing. They felt fine. I had 495 for three beltless. I just wasn't thinking. I was just doing triples all the way up, adding a small amount of weight. my favorite bench presser. Hey, what's gonna happen when you got a bench with a flat back, you cheater? Yeah, it's talks, it's going, the talks are getting real. Are you just gonna bench 85 pounds? No sumo either, they said. I don't know. I, I don't compete, you know? People say that shit in powerlifting, like, Mike, you don't even compete, you don't even deadlift 800, who cares what you say? But like in regular sports, who dictates that shit, right? It's like all the commentators, they're either ex-players, Shaq and Charles Barkley, or, or they're just literally sports analysts. I think you can have an opinion regardless, as long as it's like an educated one, you know the history of the sport. The interesting thing is that part of powerlifting's growth is dictated by technology and technique to lift more weight. And so some of this is going the other way if you start to take that out. Maybe that is even just a bigger way to divide the WRPF, USPA crowd, the not natty from the USAPL IPF crowd, right? You just make a bigger division. We're stiff bar, two hour weigh-ins, flat back, no sumo, no knee sleeve motherfuckers. And then these guys are like, I'm arching to the sky. We're deadlift, our deadlift bars are getting longer and whippier. My trends triple dosed, all that. So maybe that's where we're going. Maybe it, you know, and that I think was the cool thing about multiply lifting, unpopular opinion, I guess. One is more a test of just brute strength and then one becomes more of a technical test. I don't know, I could, I could care less, man. I'm just on the ride. I'm gonna try to support. That's where we're going this weekend to the Bay Area. Just trying to support how I can, show love how I can, build clothes for lifters to look good and feel good, build some confidence and community. Um, but otherwise I'm just for the rides. I mean, some of it's obnoxious, but I guess if you want my real analytical take, you don't need to address an issue until there's an issue. And it's not like every world record holder or everyone who won USAPL Nats or IPF Worlds is only benching this much, right? Yeah. So if, if every single person top to bottom is only benching this much, all right, we need to address that. That's kind of crazy. Hey man, welcome to YouTube, the man behind the camera. This camera runs itself. We got the new Sony A8. That thing films for itself. That's crazy. Why are you guys twinning? I thought you guys were planning this out. No, because we're looking cool. You're not on 10. You 
trying to get you in. I got you, fam. Uh, day one of the expo. It's uh, six o'clock. The boys just woke up, so the vlog starts now. So welcome. The whole crew's here. Game day, and the boys. What's that big old thing doing? <laughs> the team's here. How are you? Welcome in. Today you're on the the, the ride of your life. Hit us with your best dance move. Huh? Right now, you're in the middle of the circle at my wedding. What move are you breaking out? Oh, 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 oh dude. I just saw every panty on the dance floor just drop on the ground. Is there a flood in here? No, <laughs> oh, it's so wet. Yeah. How you been? Get that fish eye lens, dude. My face, my beard looks fantastic. Just for this event, I'm a seasoned veteran in the in the expo game, okay. but uh, you know this expo is pretty dope, man. I have a question for you, Bart. Yes. Who you got, Sean or Russ? For what? For this powerlifting meet. Oh, I thought you were talking about arm wrestling. Oh, for the uh, for this one? Yeah, for this one. Who you got? This one specifically, I think I got Sean, man. You got Sean? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to the Olympics, and you you could be the best. What sport are you doing? For me? Yeah. What's your best shot? Uh, speed walking. Speed walking? You I'm told me you suck. Oh, whoa, oh, wait. <laughs> Look at that shit, dude. He's driving. You want to be drifting? Look at that scared, bro. He's our number one salesman. Oh, right? really? Just, just throws compliments. <laughs> yeah, now I kind of want to buy three. He's so loud, bro. You know, what is this though? Is it just juice? We're in the USAPL! Why did you show them? We're in the USAPL, bro. Chill! I thought you were Natty. The pinner. She's just as guilty then. Yeah, I know. That's how I get so strong, bro. I don't know what that is. Yeah. We're talking about this now. Love it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, we are looking to really grow the sport of powerlifting. And one way that we figured we'd do that is through collaboration. Okay. So, we take a couple OGs in the game, bring the one of the best local meets besides this one because this yeah, one is fantastic. This one is fantastic. This one is fantastic so far. But on a smaller scale, bring one of the best local meets to Sacramento for USAPL, and we have our little collaboration meet. So that's going to be going on February fourth. I'm loving it. Yeah. Well, I'm giving the uh, little little scoop on what we're gonna be doing. I know. I told him I sounded like a dick on your vlog because Nico's like, "Oh yeah, didn't you miss 650 last time you were hanging with Mike?" I said, "I said yeah, I crushed 650 last time I was hanging with Tim." It's all good. It's That's all good. Good. I was probably I 220. I was probably 220. You know, you were probably a buck 40 at the time. Oh no 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 no. I think it was before you got thick. Before? Like, before. Yeah. Interesting. Well, what are you right now? I can out-pull him now, so it's fine. Oh, no, for sure. He probably out-squat me. He probably out-bench me. I, don't, I haven't benched in a long time because of weightlifting, yes. so I don't know about that. I, don't, I only do hammer strength. See, but, but, but he, dude, Mike looks so much better than I do, so that's all. When it comes to, like, social presence, looking better, that's all that matters. That's all that matters right now. All that matters is your bank account, personality, education. None of that else matters. Tim Thibodeau. <laughs> Let me get your true opinion on Mike. How do you really feel about him? Mike. What, 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 what words can I use to describe that man? I mean, his hair is fantastic. He, ma he makes wonderful shorts. Okay. Good guy. Good guy. Yeah, okay. good guy. Uh, honestly, the only thing the only thing that surprised me about him, I thought he was taller. Honestly, having having now met him in person twice, thought he was taller. That's how I feel about Tim. <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about it? You know, if you if you don't know, here's a little sneak peek. Okay. Game day barbell, the third street barbell. We're doing a collaboration meet on February 4th and 5th. Look out for the sign up. It's coming here soon. It's going to be the most lit combo of all time. Okay. I'm real excited for it. I can't say much more than that because we got a lot of good plans, but a little collab between our two brands is going to be insane. Check it out.